Hey, how you doing today? My name is Riley and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Tunic and I'm going to show you where to find all of the different heroes graves which are going to make it so you can get all of your abilities back. So the very first one, obviously, they put it right in front of you once you get the dash ability. And so once you pray at the statue, it will allow you to teleport over here. And just like that, the very first one, boom, stamina. That's going to let you get to all the places just a little bit faster. Also, if you weren't sure the way to get out of here it is uh, you just have to you just have to teleport on all of these different uh, pillars and eventually you'll you'll find your way out. There's a rope. It's really easy to miss. But you know what? I, I believe in you. Just kind of come up and around and uh, you, you'll figure it out. The second hero's grave is going to have you teleporting over to the eastern vault over here. And once you get here, we're going to come all the way down. We're going to keep going down through the next room. One thing that's nice about it being nighttime is that some of the enemies are just a little bit different. Or th there's just less of them in general. There's a lot less of them. And uh, it also just makes it a lot easier to get to where you need to be. So I just leave it at nighttime. And come over here and if you're quick enough you can get the prayer before the enemies come get you maybe yeah there we go and right here this gets us our health back all right so next what we're gonna do is go get defense and you're not gonna get very far if you don't have a whole lot of defense so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over this way and we actually need to come down these stairs and right here we can just dash across and this is going to get us into the western garden because if we don't have any defense we're just going to take so much damage that even with health you're going to die super fast right and the hero's grave is just right here at the top of the stairs nice and easy and just like that we get defense up Next, what you're going to want to do is warp to the cathedral, and this is where you're going to get your mana, or man magic power, whatever you want to call it. And so we're going to come down the stairs, come over to these books. I didn't know you could dash through that for the longest time. I was stuck there for, for quite a little bit. And we'll come around this way and down. Easy. Follow the stairs. And then it's going to be right there. So I'm playing on New Game Plus, which is probably why I've got this this big guy here trying to trying to fight me and mess with me right now. So I don't think that you've got an enemy like this unless you're in New Game Plus. And then once they are dealt with, you can come up to the top. Get your prayer on. And again, that'll get you your magic power back, or blue bar. So we can deal some of those magic attacks that are so powerful. From here, we're going to warp to the east forest. And so it's kind of a tricky way. You have to... Like, I, I would have... I, I would have missed that too. It's super easy to miss. So once you get over here to the east forest, make your way over to the right. And you might even remember this being here. From an early, early game. And what's nice is you can actually dash by most of these enemies. Although, these guys are probably going to snipe you. If you don't take care of them. That, and it looks like I never lifted up this lever from earlier, too. So, you, you got to do that if you didn't do it earlier. The hero's grave. Uh oh, watch out for this guy. Blast with a shotgun. Easy. Shotgun solves so many problems in this game. It's absolutely ridiculous. I love it. And this is one of the better things to upgrade because once you have attack up, it makes everything else so much easier. You feel so weak until you get your attack up. Last but not least, we're going to make our way over to the mountain door way at the back of everything. And the reason why we're going back here is it is the secret kind of back entrance over to, oh, what do you call it? It's like the caves, all that kind of good stuff. I, I forget the exact name, the area off the top of my head. But again, it's kind of an interesting place because everything's all changed up and it's kind of a, kind of a cool place to be. And unless you made your way through here and found this back entrance earlier, 
you probably wouldn't even know it was here. So once you get there, we're going to come down and around. Oh, and by the way, I do have another video for all of the secret fairy locations if you do end up finding yourself needing help with that. What's great is now, remember how you couldn't reach us? Now you can reach it. Now you got the dash ability. Just like that. And so now we'll make our way over to the back. I don't think you have to worry about those bad guys too terribly much. And so just so you know, once you get to the end of the room, I don't know if you heard it, but a door just shut. And this is one of the reasons why I like to get the attack before coming in here, because now we have to go fight one of these things. And they're not always the easiest. But if you got a shotgun, it does make it a little bit easier. I got you. It's easy. Whoa, we got more of these things coming in? What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. In fact, maybe I, maybe I just run away from you. Yeah. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just run away from you. All right, last but not least, we have our potion upgrade, and this is going to make it so every potion we drink gives us more health, which is obviously super helpful. And now that you are fully restored, you get your old body back. And now you can go fight the foxy mama. It's it's time she gets hers, you know? She she deserved it. After the way she treated us earlier, go get it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Brilliant, and I hope to talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.